Hey everybody, Dr. Dunlop here with Full Arch Masters. We're at the middle of our uh, Full Arch Advanced Surgery course. I'm, Dr. I'm here with Dr. Michael Eggett and uh, Dr. Daniel Yeager, and they are doing something really cool today. Uh, they just finished the upper surgery and they're using an OptiSplint. Uh, OptiSplint is a product that uh, is featured from a company called Digital Arches. And we have Autumn here uh, representing the company today. And she is uh, handing them the specific parts and pieces that are needed to assemble this digital verification jig in the mouth. So uh, as if you guys know, you know, in Full Arch Masters, we use a lot of photogrammetry. Photogrammetry is an amazing tool that I use every single day. Um, but OptiSplint is a pretty interesting alternative to that. I don't think it's a replacement, but I think it's a very, very nice alternative. So if you're not in the market for a uh, photogrammetry scanner and you still wanna do digital full arch cases, OptiSplint is a very, very cool little tool. So what they're doing right now is they are taking off the he multi-unit healing caps and they're installing these Opti OptiSplint scan bodies. And what they do is they register the position of the implants digitally. And once they're assembled in the mouth, we're gonna put like a honeycomb rigid uh, structure that's gonna connect all of the OptiSplint scan bodies together. And so the benefit of this is that you can remove this from the mouth and scan it outside the mouth. So if you follow any of the posts that I do, I don't have a tremendous amount of faith in intraoral scanners to give me my implant positions, especially during surgery. <clears throat> so the OptiSplint has a unique advantage of being able to be removed from the mouth and scanned on a tabletop scanner or an intraoral scanner outside the mouth. By doing that, you have a lot more accuracy built into the process uh, and you're able to register your dental implant positions very accurately in a complex surgical environment. Um, so what they're doing now is they are um, assembling this OptiSplint and then we're going to remove it once it's connected and scan it outside the mouth. You see that? Yeah, so you just want to assemble the OptiSplint where the b arms of the OptiSplint stick towards the middle. And then uh, Doc is going to take, uh, it, so, you know, the other way, it, it, like uh, on top of that. Yeah, there you go. And so you're going to now install the honeycomb and use their core material. And the core material is used to rigidly splint. So start like in that chimney where it's coming up and fill that whole chimney. There you go. So fill that and let it kind of squeeze out everywhere. Now this is an auto cure and dual, like a dual cure material. So you're gonna be able to just cover that parts of that honeycomb and lute it very rigidly to your uh, scan body, okay? So what this is doing is it's creating a rigid structure that can be removed from the mouth as one piece. So if you have ever done any intraoral scan scanning, you know that the scan bodies just kind of sit by themselves. The further apart those implants are, the more likely that uh, your scanner is to form error and not capture an accurate scan. So OptiSplint is unique in the sense that it is a scannable verification jig that can be scanned either in the mouth or outside the mouth. So that's really the secret sauce is you can scan this in the mouth if you want to, like in a healed situation, <clears throat> or you can scan it outside the mouth in a surgical situation like this one. So now our assistant, is uh, looting these together and creating that rigid structure. She's almost done. Might want to give it a little longer. That's the three second leg? Uh, that's all right. We'll do a lot of three second spots. We're almost done. So we're just going to make sure that you don't remove it and have anything move. That would be a bad thing. So we're going to overuse our little core material, make sure that it's looted together and nothing's moving. So if you're comfortable with that, then you can go ahead and unscrew all four of those screws and we'll see if we can get this thing out as one piece. So hopefully you guys can start to see that we're creating a rigid structure in the mouth, similar to like a jig and tray verification. That would be like an analog technique. A lab would make you a rigid verification jig that you would assemble in the mouth connect together with acrylic or composite and then remove it from the mouth. That's an old school technique. I've done thousands of them. They're very fr frustrating and annoying if you're doing a lot of them. This is one time done and you can keep this in the case pan for the whole remainder of the case. So if you ever need to reference back to implant positions, you have this thing. You can pour a model from it and have a working model. Um, you can scan it over and over again 
you can mail it somewhere and have them scan it. So there's a lot of versatility involved uh, or incorporated into this design. And the guys from Digital Arches have really put together a quality product that is reproducible. And a lot of our alumni and Full Arch Masters are using OptiSplints on a regular basis, um, either as an alternative to their photogrammetry or as a replacement to it. Um, so if you're just getting into Full Arch, you want to do digital cases, but you don't want to invest in some of the expensive equipment, I think it's very smart to use an OptiSplint and invest the money you did not spend in your practice development. Yeah. Invest in personnel, invest in marketing, invest in business strategy. That will allow you to grow your practice to a level where the photogrammetry scanner is a big, uh, is a necessary investment for, for scale. Um, so until you get there, I think that it's a really, really wonderful uh, advancement in the full arch world. So I, I, I applaud them for doing that. So he's now wiggling off the opti splint and hopefully if they looted it together um, sufficiently, it will just come out as one piece. So put the, we can just put it right on the table here. So now we have a looted verification jig outside the mouth. Maybe you can, Dan, you can pick it up and just turn it the other way. Yeah, so now you can see the underside has the implant connections and the honeycomb is connecting it all together as one piece. Now this can be washed off and sprayed and then scanned on our scan plate. Um, do you wanna just maybe yeah. rinse it off? <clears throat> so, like I said, intraoral scanners in this surgical environment are not very accurate. There's a lot of moving parts, there's a sedated patient, there's a lot of heme and a lot of saliva. Um, not a very good amenable place to scan with an intraoral scanner. Scanning on this platform outside the mouth is much more reliable. And this is what we recommend you do for your immediate load procedures. When you get down in the process and you're ready to scan for finals, you can actually scan an opti splint in the mouth with a great degree of accuracy. Um, and, and you can proceed with your prosthetic. So that while Dr. Eggett is putting the um, healing abutments back on, Dr. Uger is gonna show us what this looks like. And so now you have a scannable verification jig that can now be scanned outside the mouth and sent to the lab. So whether you're working in town with your lab, you're working across the state, or even in a different country, you're gonna be able to transmit a scan of this to them and have a digital workflow done while you wait. So no more denture conversions, no more ill-fitting prosthesis, no more one and done only having one temp. Patient breaks it, you just print another. Uh, patient wants changes, you just change it and print another. So analog full arch is dead. And if you're still doing it, you're part of a dying breed. So you got to transition like these two amazing docs have to a digital workflow so you can grow your practice, so you can achieve excellence in the quality of your work, and so you can help more people. All right, so that's a, kind of a basic overview of how OptiSplint works, how we use it at Full Arch Masters. If you're interested in learning more about OptiSplint, you can contact them at digitalarches.com. Um, you can reach out to uh, one of the guys who works with OptiSplint, or you can check us out at fullarchmasters.com. We are an official education sponsor for Digital Arches, and we're one of the places where you can learn on real cases how to use this technology. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this is a product that I uh, really admire. I think it's very smart and it's found a very, very happy home at Full Arch Masters. All right, take care everybody. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.